Hello, this is Lynn Hansen, KU7Q, from Lynnovation, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to present the latest addition to the CTR2 family of radio control products, CTR2 Dial. I'll refer to CTR2 Dial as the Dial in this video. The Dial is a MIDI controller based on the M5 Dial from M5 Stack. The M5 dial features a color touchscreen and uses an ESP32 S3 processor. Since this is the same processor CTR2 MIDI uses, I decided to take the MIDI's firmware and create the dial. Like CTR2 MIDI, the dial supports USB and Bluetooth MIDI. Having a small display allowed me to increase the number of buttons, wheels, and sliders by using virtual controls. You can also have physical encoders and or a paddle jack to operate remote CW with many radio control apps like Smart SDR for iOS and Remote Ham Radio. Links to these programs can be found below. Like CTR2 MIDI, the dial works with other control programs to support MIDI control. Here's a photo of the currently available CTR2 controllers and options. CTR2 MIDI CTR2 Micro and CTR Voice are shown on the bottom row. The enclosure options for the dial are shown on the top row. Third-party vendors are also working to create customized 3D printed enclosures for the dial, such as this preliminary design by Neil G7 UFO. CTR2 MIDI is a small, simple MIDI controller with physical buttons and a large tuning knob. It supports CW paddle input for remote CW operation. LEDs provide unit status indication. It's simple and it just works. Because it provides tactile feedback, it's also easy to use without looking at it. The dial is my next generation MIDI controller. It's available in several enclosure styles, including the same enclosure I used with CTR2 Micro and CTR2 MIDI. External enclosures or the CW paddle jack are not available on this enclosure due to size restrictions. The next enclosure option is a new age enclosure. This enclosure provides more room for external interfaces. It is available with one encoder and a paddle jack or two encoders. This unit is controlling the iPad app using USB MIDI. The large tuning knob makes it easy to control up to 12 functions of your radio control app. The virtual dial interface can control another 12 functions. Sweeping your finger around the edge of the display tunes your radio. Touch and hold your finger on the display for longer than one second to shift the tuning control to high speed mode. Release and touch again to return to normal speed. The knob menu lets you easily choose from the controls available. The last enclosure option provides two encoders. The dial's design provides for an encoder on port A of the M5 dial and either a CW paddle input jack or another encoder on port B, so the paddle jack is not available for this unit. This unit is controlling the same iPad app but using Bluetooth MIDI instead of USB MIDI. The two physical encoders can be set to control other functions. The functions available for each encoder can be edited by the user. Like CTR2 MIDI, the dial supports remote CW paddle input. In this demonstration, I've set the external encoder to change the app's keyer speed, and then I'll set the main dial to control the VFO. Next, I'll switch the main dial to adjust the power out and use the paddles to control the app's keyer. The dial has 42 virtual buttons. These are accessed by touching the Buttons button on the home page. I'll just show photos of the menus since my video camera doesn't capture the detail on the display very well. Buttons are organized into seven pages with six buttons on each page. I've tried to group them so that similar functions are on each page. The user can edit the label on any control so you can set it up the way it works best for you. 
The dial's configuration can also be backed up and restored from your computer. The dial includes a virtual push to talk button. Access this button from the home page. Touch the dial's display to key the radio and release to unkey. Some radio control apps support both momentary and latching push to talk control. We've covered a lot of ground in this video. I'll cover changing settings on the dial, editing the labels, and control types, and backing up your settings in the next video. I hope this gives you an idea of how simple yet powerful the dial is. You can learn more about the dial and order the options that work best for you on my website. The link is included below. I also have a CTR2 group on Group.io. That link is also included below. I'd like to thank everyone that has supported my projects over the years. CTR2 Dial is a direct result of that support. I also appreciate all the encouragement and guidance I've received from many of you over the years. See you in the next video. 73s.